at Brooklyn, now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to the Nero, but I'll be hood forever, I'm the new Sinatra, and since I made it here, I can make it anywhere, yeah they love me everywhere, I used to cop in Harlem, all of my Dominicanos right there up on Broadway, pulled me back to that McDonald's, took it to my stash, what is going on guys, and welcome to all New York sports, we give you the best of my coverage about the Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets, Mets and Nets, alright let's get right into it, cause I wanna play some 2K, if you hear the music in the background or if you see it. So let's get right into it. The Knicks beat the Mavericks last night. 100 to one of um 100 to 96. Um Chris Lapazingas had not oh what am I saying? He had 29 points and he had um nine rebounds along with that. So Brazingas played really well and Ennis Kanner also doing his part at 14 rebounds, so he was really good. Um both on defense and offense. He had eight offensive rebounds, which is really nice. Um, we needed a center like Kanner for a long time, and we finally got him. So, uh, yeah, I'm proud that Kanner's been playing really well. Because, as you guys know, we got him from the Thunder in the Carmelo Anthony trade. So, that was uh, really good. And, um, yeah, so let's talk about the Knicks season. Um, they're 19-21. and 21, And they're at the ninth spot in the East right now. So, Knicks can kind of make a late comeback um, to the, uh, you know, I mean, still early in the season. Not really as earlier as, like, you know, when it first began, but, you know. But I think the Knicks can find a way to get into the 8th spot, 7th spot, maybe. Um, but, obviously, they're rebuilding right now. They have young guys. In the future, they're going to be very good. So, yeah, I'm just excited for the Knicks, uh, Knicks season and their future. So, yeah, let's going to do it. Um, subscribe, like, do what you want. Thank you.